took to the streets to raise their voices on violence against women. <laughs> Protests have been taking place in Kenya following a wave of brutal killings of women. Amnesty International says more than 500 cases of femicide or the killing of women and girls happened between 2016. Now, and cases of killings continue to rise. But of reason, we have seen incidences of our girls, our mothers, our women who have been murdered in cold blood. Statistics reveal that more than 30 women were killed each month from the month of August to October. That is an average of a woman killed per day. Papa, kwa this blue gate, ndio ilinilitiwa na polisi. So nilipofika hapa, wakaniambia, wametuita kwa sababu hapa ndani, kwa kuna mwili ya msichana ambaye ni mtoto wetu. It was murder and so many other other shocking things that no parent, no woman or no nobody would have liked to have passed the pain and the trauma my daughter has died with. The president should officially declare femicide a national crisis and a disaster. My name is Leila. There is a time, um, sometimes in January, to create awareness about femicide. To kandamana everywhere, at least ika kwa ni kama imelalia kidogo. But now again, imeinuka kwa mshindo, as in it's everywhere. Especially, um, okay, not just FSWs, but all women are in danger. I don't know what's happening. Wanawake wanauliwa, wanawake wanateswa. I don't know what exactly should be done. Because this, it's like, uh, even these culprits are never arrested. Sije yonaeti mtu ameshi quiet uh, he's a perpetrator of this crime kwa hivyo all women we are just in danger tunaomba at least hii mata ishugulikiwe so that uh, at least hii uh, problem ishe ishe in this country it's just too much we are requesting tunaomba tusaidiwe as women my name is Ameri Mugro Idegeni I work at the Hostess Empowerment Support Program. It is a program uh, for sex workers led. It is a program that uh, caters for women. And uh, I'm a paralegal and also I'm a human rights defender. It is so painful seeing how we are losing a lot of women. In a period of three months, we have lost 98 women. Those are the ones who are being reported. What about those who are not re reported? You can imagine these women are, are mothers of children. They have left their children uh, behind and now the children are becoming orphans. Why? Why are we taking advantage of others? Why kill a woman? A woman is so simple, so fragile, you should know how to handle her. Why kill her? We don't know even the number and we cannot even count the number. I'm urging and urging even the government to do a lot of advocacy when it comes to these cases and when the perpetrators are being arrested they should be taken to court and nothing like bribes to be taken because one life is standing for many people. Like me, I'm a mother of many children. Eh? If you kill me, you leave alone my children behind. Where are they going to survive? How are we safe? How are women safe in Kenya? We are never safe. We are never safe. And now it is you and me to take this precaution to make sure our women are safe, our children, girls are safe. Kwa Florence Kendi, nafanya naba hostess. Kuna kitu ingine inafanya mimi kwa roo yangu, unasikia bibaya sana na unasikia nimeudhika sana. Unasikia mtu, hameita familia, hameenda wa wote. So kama unatembia hivi, unajuliza, wewe uko na nani na umechungwa na nani na uko pande gani. Ebu, kama wewe ni mama kama mimi, uwe jaribu kufaki atu kama hiyo yangu. Ati umetuma mtoto mahali, umendo unasikia ati msana wako hameuliwa. Ni kitu ina uchungu sana na ni kitu ina uma sana wa mama. Unaeza taka kuelewa saidi, ni nini na fanya vitu kama hizo sitendeke sana juu tumejaribu kufanya uchunguzi yetu tumekosa kujua ni nini imeza kwa hiyo kitu kama hiyo inafanyika nataka serikali ingililie sana 
wiki ndani saidi ili tuweze kujua ni nini inaendelea ndio hii mambo tuone kama inaweza pungua ama inaweza kuwa namna gani ama iishe kabisa ama nikulienda aje ni serikali yakuna ni nini yakuna ni nini inaweza kuwa inaendelea hiyo yenye tunaweza kuwa tuendeni